I'm not a children's teacher. Hallelujah. But I'm a people's preacher. So we're going to preach this word today. As the Spirit of God lead us. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. My Lord. Minister Lifa, I know it was not easy pulling this off. Because I had a fight and I had a struggle. But I say that devil is a liar. Amen. I have a charge to keep yeah. and a call to glorify. Amen. So I know it wasn't easy. Of some obstacles and some situations trying to block you yeah. or trying to stop you. But I, because I had a fight. I greet you all today, all the ministers in the house, Minister Brennan, Minister Grant. Mother Clyde in the back. in your sight. 
Lord God, my strength and my redeemer. In the mighty name of Jesus, you, Father God, move in this place. Not me, God, but I surrender to you this minute, this hour, this second, that you have your way in this service. I put myself aside and I ask that your presence and your power can come in now and fill me. In the mighty name of Jesus, the blood still works. It, it changes a sinner to a saint. It doesn't give him a heart makeover. It gives him a new heart. I'm reading from the Amplified so you can follow me in the King James, but I'm reading from the Amplified today. You can go ahead and follow in the King James. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verses 17 and 18, it reads, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is engrafted, joined to him by faith as a Savior, he is a new creature. Yes. Reborn, renewed by the Holy Spirit. Yes. All things, the previous moral and spiritual condition yes. have passed away. And behold, new things have come because, because there is a spiritual awakening. Behold, new things have come because there is a spiritual awakening. Spiritual awakening brings new life. Do we need a spiritual awakening in this place? Yes. Do we need a spiritual awakening in the house this yes. morning? Verse 18 reads, I'm saying, I'm reading from the Amplified. But all these things are from God to reconcile us to himself through Christ, making us acceptable to him and gave unto us the ministry of reconciliation. So that we are an example, yeah. that we might bring, be an example to others. So that we are an example to others. Yeah. The blood still works. Yes. The blood of Jesus still works this morning. Saints yeah. of God, yeah. it is time for the believer to use the blood. That's we right. are lacking the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. I want you to talk.
of Jesus deliver me. The blood of Jesus set me free. If I were God, he may put it in my heart. God will not hear me to me. If I have sinned against my brother, my sister, I have to first repent and go and ask for forgiveness. And then God will hear me. There's a scripture that says, if you come to this altar to bring a gift and you acknowledge that your brother have an order against you, not that you have an order, but you acknowledge that your brother have an order against you, leave the gift to the altar. Hallelujah. Go be reconciled to your brother. Then come back and offer your gift. The reason why I think they're working out for some of us, and I'm going to speak in the way the Holy Ghost given to me. Too much blackness in our heart. Too much mess in our lives. We come in church and we put on a show. We put on the form of loneliness, but we deny it the power thereof. We put on a show in the house of God, but the sinners in this camp ain't nothing happening to me. I can speak in tongues and I can pray and I can fast and I can cry and speak in my tongue. But if I hate Mother Clay and I hate Sister Brennan and the back there pebbles, if my heart has something bitter and black towards you, I can pray as much as I will. Because every time I see pebbles, Repent! Repent, church of the living God! I speak to the woman in the house today! 
in our children and even in our community because I know the blood still works. The blood of Jesus still works. It's working right now. But are you allowing that blood to work in your life? Women of God today, children today, the blood of Jesus is work today because it's working in my life. What do you know about the blood? What do you think about the blood? Not the blood of them other things, but the blood of Jesus. There is power in that blood. Hebrews 9 and 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer himself without spot to God? Point your conscience from dead words to serve the living God. The price has been paid. Jesus
raised the dead. He healed the sick. He cast out demons and devils. He said, Greater works shall you do. What are you doing in your home? Your children going astray. Hallelujah. Husband going astray. Oh my God, the community going astray. They have no respect for the house of God. No respect for the man and woman of God. Because we allow the enemy to come in. The enemy creep in.
Lord. Blessed is the one that consider the poor. Let me read that. Let me read the benefits where we do unto others. We still deal with the blood, you know. We need the blood because without the blood, I wouldn't be standing here today. Without the blood of Jesus, I wouldn't be standing here today, my brothers and sisters. Psalms 41 it reads, Blessed is he that considereth the poor. The Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. He shall be blessed upon the earth. The Lord will not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of life with him, and thou will make his bed of all of his sicknesses. I want to share a quick testimony before I close. In January this year, 26, I went to the United States and I had a surgery. I had a surgery and four days later I came back home. I was all stitched up and we flew back home to the Bahamas. And three weeks after my surgery, I had a dream. And in the dream, I realized I was on the spiritual attack. And hear me today, some stuff began to happen to me. And people was looking and trying to figure out. People saw me in a different light that they never saw me in. But they never knew what was happening. One particular person had to deal with me. And they began to say, what is going on? And they start to say, send back to center. I say, no, go and get this back home. I don't believe in the send back to send the prayer. And I say to you, Christians in here, who believe in that garbage and that foolishness? God ain't hearing me because every time the enemy do you wrong, you talk about send back to send them. What the Bible say? Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that despitefully use you. Get in the word of God. Women of God, stop sending back to send them. Repent from that wicked
in the Old Testament, the blood symbolically represents life. It is the life of the blood of the victim. What is the source? The, that is the source of the atonement, which causes us, it brings hope and it brings life. What it is to the sinner, it gives us the union. When the blood of Jesus washes and cleanses and pulls the sinner down, it gives us the union with the Holy Spirit. That's why we need to repent and ask God to clean up our hearts because the blood is still working, it's working right now. When you allow the blood to work, don't sit on the word of God because you know there's a portion of this word for me and there's a portion for you. The blood of Jesus still works. What is the healing power in the blood of Jesus? The blood of Jesus brings healing to the man. Sickness and disease receive healing through the blood of Jesus Christ. For by his strength we were healed. Isaiah 53 and 5. The blood of Jesus. It still works today. I'm going to stop because the Holy Ghost has done. But I say to you, God would. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall prosper. It shall accomplish that which I set it to do. God word will prosper. Today, when you allow this word to fall on your heart, when you accept this word today, the Bible says in Proverbs 11 and 21, though hand join in hand, the wicked will not be as punished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Hear me today, women of God. Get in the word of God. I know sometimes we like TikTok and we like Facebook and we like all these other things, but we need to spend some time.
as we repent and seek God. The blood still works, you know. And this is for me. Because sometimes my children make me mad. I'm wrong. Because I have a goal to find. So we are all going through. But I say to you and I today, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Because I know the blood still works. It's been working in my life and it's still working in my life. So when obstacles and situations and circumstances we fall on our faces, but make sure there's no iniquity. Make sure there's no sin in our hearts. Amen. So when we call on the name of Jesus Christ, we know that the blood still works. And it's still working in our lives. I encourage you today. Mothers, I salute you. I salute each and every one of you mothers. Look at you beautiful mothers in the back with your babies. God gave to women. Mothers. When I thought about Mary, God used a woman, Mary, a teenager, to give birth to the Savior of the world. That's how special and precious we are, women of God. Take your rightful place. Take your rightful place in the kingdom of God, in the things of God. Yeah. You are beautiful, lovely. Look at God for that beautiful smile. My God. God gives to this world. Mothers, I salute you, Mother Clyde, to the angry Minister Judy, Minister Lipa, Minister Elvis, yeah. Angel, my daughter. God, the praise and the glory. Children is a heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. I salute you, mothers. Children, I thank you for being in the house this morning. Gentlemen in the back, God bless you. And mothers, I salute you. And I say a happy Mother's Day. Yes, Mama, I see you smiling. God bless you. Minister Lipa, thank you. Thank Pastor Butler for this opportunity. I say to us today, the blood of Jesus still works. There are ministers in this house. And if there's one person that needs to come and we commit themselves to the Lord, or need to come and say, I need Jesus. These ministers, I know we have three ministers in the house. If you need prayers, we have prayer warriors in the house. You can come to the altar and let them pray for you. God bless you, God keep you, God strengthen you. And a happy, happy and blessed Mother's Day for all of you beautiful mothers in the house. God bless you in Jesus' name.